<laughs> Hola, you Sanction nerds. Welcome back to Sanction Engineering. Doing another problem, number 2.12. We're doing some more uh, physics or algebra type of stuff. So, uh, a right circular cone floats base down in a liquid of unknown density. Derive a formula for a row of the fluid in terms of the density of the cone, uh, the radius, and height over height. And so this time I drew the image beforehand. So we have this bucket or like a tub or something. And we're putting a cone inside and it floats. And so I'm calling the little radius, uh, I'm calling the cone radius big R, the height of the cone big H. And so when we put it face down, there's this invisible layer, there's an invisible circle that I'm calling this invisible circle in which it floats radius little r and this height in which it floats little h okay and uh so we have to derive a relationship for rho of the fluid this is going to be the rho of the fluid as a function of rho of the cylinder okay so we're finally out of that horrendous uh unit conversion territory at least for now we're probably gonna get some more into that but um i recommend you try this by yourself see what you can get See if you can try to do this. And so this uses a lot of algebra manipulation. So this is going to be a derivation. So no numbers, finally. I don't like numbers. Sometimes I feel like I should have been a physicist because I don't like using numbers and units and it's annoying. But um, but yeah, it's good. So, but then I will actually want a job. Oh! <laughs> so, row of the fluid. So, if you watched the last video, or if you recall Archimedes' principle, uh, the mass of an object, so in this case the cylinder, is going to be the same as the mass of the fluid displaced by that object, okay? And so if density equals rho over volume, then mass is density. Did I say rho over volume? Density is mass over volume, then density is... Then mass is density times volume. There we go, fine. So, mass of the cylinder is density of the cylinder times volume of the cylinder, and mass of the fluid is density of the fluid times the volume of the fluid, just like the last problem. Okay, so we want to solve for the row of the fluid in terms of, uh, no, row of the fluid? Yeah, row of, row of the fluid. So row of the fluid is row of the cylinder, volume of the cylinder, and volume of the cylinder. Okay, so all we have to do is replace each of these terms by different functions in terms of radius and height. Okay, so let's see how we can approach this. Okay, so the volume of the cylinder is going to be the area, the cross-sectional area of the cylinder times the height divided by 3. So let's describe a couple relations. So let's do it right here. So the volume of the cylinder is going to be the cross-sectional area of the cylinder times the height divided by 3. And that's going to be equal to, well, the cross-sectional area is what? pi r squared, this r, because it's the volume of the cylinder, pi r squared, h over 3. Make sense? And the volume of the fluid, well, the volume of the fluid is going to be, uh, so this is the tricky part, okay? So think about this for a second, this is, this is actually a little, a little tricky. Okay, so the volume of the fluid. In the last video, we described that the volume of the fluid is going to be this invisible layer of fluid immersed to displace the fluid by the object, okay? So we need to find the volume of the solid. Well, to find the volume of that solid, we need to take... I can stop dropping the markers. To get the volume of fluid, I need to take the volume of the entire thing, which is the volume of the cylinder, minus the volume of this baby cylinder. So I'm going to call this baby cylinder VC prime. Can you guys see that invisible baby cylinder? So if the entire cylinder is the entire volume of the cylinder, and this baby cylinder, you need to use your imaginary imagination for this one. This baby cylinder, I'm going to call it cylinder prime. And so to get the volume of the fluid cylinder, oh, I caught it this time. This is going to be a volume of the fluid. The volume of the fluid is the entire cylinder minus the baby cylinder, VC prime baby cylinder. Okay, and we know the volume of the entire cylinder, which is that one. But now we need a relationship for the volume of the baby cylinder, which is VC prime. And so that's going to be 
Let's do it over here, so we can plug it in right here. So the volume of the baby cylinder is going to be cross-sectional area of the cylinder. So let me do like a little, like I'm going to extract it. So imagine in your mind I'm pulling out this cylinder. So this is the baby cylinder, and the entire cylinder is that. So this is the same as that. Does it make sense? So this radius is radius R, and this is radius, and this is height H. Okay? So the volume of this cylinder, which is that cylinder, is going to be cross-sectional area times the height. And cross-sectional area is pi little r squared. Oh, divided by three. Perfect. So now I can plug in this guy and this guy to get the volume of the fluid, which is going to be pi r squared, pi big r squared, times h over 3, minus pi little r squared, times, is this big h? This is big h. Why don't you tell me anything? Big h, this is big h. Sorry about that. And h over 3. Okay? Perfect. So now, if we know the density of the, of the cone, the volume of the cone, the volume of the fluid, we can simply plug these guys in. So the volume, so the row of the fluid, let me erase this because it might be a little bit messy. So let's erase that here. Oh god, that's horrendous. So the row of the fluid is going to be the density of the cone, which is just rho c, times the volume of the cone, which is going to be this guy, pi r squared h over 3, and divided by the volume of the fluid, which is going to be this guy, pi r squared h over 3, h, little h over 3. So this is going to be the challenge of doing math online because I have no idea what math level you're at. So I'm going to do several math tricks. I'll try to explain them as much as I can. But um, the number one thing that you should know is that, again, I have no idea what math level you're at. If I'm going too slow, I apologize. If I'm going too fast, I apologize. But if I'm going too fast, you might want to uh, take out a pen and paper, do this by yourself, and then come back to it and see what you get. So we want a relationship between big R and H over H. And so what I'm going to do first is just cancel out pi. So either imagine in your head or you know the math rule. If I factor out pi from here and factor out pi from here, I'm going to cancel out this pi, even though I love pi. I'm not really that big of fan of pi. I can also do the same thing with the one over third. So the one over third cancels out. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm doing like an invisible factoring step. Okay. So now I have Rho C, what do I have? R squared H, R squared H minus R squared H. Okay, you can see where I'm going with this. Uh, I think I'm gonna factor out an R squared, a big R squared. So I think I'll show it this time. If you didn't follow the last time, I'm going to simply factor out an R squared. So I'm just gonna put this on top and I'm going to factor out an R squared from here. So in this case, I'm just going to multiply by 1. So 1 times R squared. But if I'm multiplying by R squared, I have to divide it right here. OK, does it make sense? Which means that I can simply cancel out the R squared. OK, so what I have now is the rho of the fluid. It's going to be rho rho of the cylinder times big H divided by uh, big H minus R squared H over R squared. R squared. Okay. And now we're almost done, but it wants us to do it in terms of H over H, which means we need a function for R as a function of H or H. Okay. So what that means, well, what can we do here? Simple geometry, am I right? So I'm going to redraw the image here. So if let's let's take a cross section. So I'm just going to imagine a 2D version of this. So this is a 2D version of this. 
This is the entire, this is the entire cone. And you know what? I'm even gonna divide it in the middle as well. So I'm gonna divide it out right here. And so if this is big R and this is little r, and this entire thing is big H, and this little baby thing is little h, do you see where I'm going with this? Remember uh, similar triangles or whatever it's called? If I have a relationship, if I say the little r over the, let's go down here, the little r over the little height is going to be the same ratio as the big R over the, what, the big height, okay? So that's our ratio. So R over H is big R over big H. And you see where I'm going with this? So I'm gonna say that's gonna be uh, running out of room here. R is gonna be R H over H. So let's see if I can plug that in. Let me box this right here because I'm just gonna rewrite this. I'm sorry, if this is too messy, I, I apologize. R H over H minus, I'm gonna leave this here. H over R squared times, I'm gonna plug that in. It's R squared, so R H over H squared, okay? And so you remember the rules of squaring? Just gonna multiply everything, square. And that cancels out with that guy. And we are left with H cubed, okay? So give me a second. Is it cool if I erase this? Give me a second, let me erase that because it's one of the problems of writing on a whiteboard compared to, there's, there's benefits and drawbacks from doing things online versus doing it in person. And then the whole psychology of doing it on the whiteboard versus doing it online, I don't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna rewrite this. Uh, let's go over here. Erase that. All right, let's go right here. It's still wet. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so what do we have? So row of the fluid. Let's go all the way over here. Row of the fluid. It's gonna be row of the cylinder times the height divided by height minus. Okay, so we have whoa the height times height squared, which is height cubed over height squared. All right, so we're pretty much good, except um, it wants it in terms of h over a little uh, over big h. So I'm gonna divide the entire thing. So I'm gonna divide the entire thing by one over h. Divide by one over h. Okay. You know why? Because it's gonna be h over h cubed. So let's write this one more time. It's gonna be rho the fluid. And so h over h is gonna be one. h over h is also one. And h cubed over h squared h is gonna be h over h cubed. See that? I think that's our answer. Let me just check. Cubed. Yeah. So we're pretty much good. I apologize in advance if this one's a little bit daunting, but I think we got it. Any questions? You know what, if you have a question, leave it in the comment. You can come to my office hours. My office hours, no, I don't have office hours yet. Um, yeah, so again, this one may be a little scary. And again, I apologize if the math is messy. There's a billion and one ways to get to the same answer, but um, you just wanna follow algebraic rules and do some manipulations. There's a couple little clever tricks you have to get across, but um, yeah, I'm gonna keep on going. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Family, you know?